He had so much elevation, he knocked out some of the ceiling at Somerset Hall. Unbelievable. And working on that leg, and boy, D-Ray just been all energy and all fire right now. Gonna drape that leg over that bottom rope. Using that lower rope for a little bit of leverage, just driving right into that knee of Buck Lawless. And I guess that's what you have to do when you're in there with someone like Buck Lawless, who is just a massive individual. Get him off of his feet. It's one of the most vulnerable parts of the body, the knee. Well, it doesn't matter how big you are. Yeah, you take out one of those wheels and you're not going anywhere. I think I have debris from that ceiling tile up in my shirt. But right into the eyes goes Buck Lawless. I still got half a Scooby snack here if you want it from Pastor no, Payne earlier. Look, Pastor Payne tried to ram into my eye earlier. That guy will use anything that he can to his advantage. Candy for crying out loud, you know? Well, I'll try to help you keep an eye on Pastor Payne because I don't trust him walking back no, around us. No, not at us. all. Not at all. He really needs it. No, no, wait a minute, Norm. I, I, I just saw this. Look across the ring from our position. That's the shark dressed man. Oh, that sure is. I didn't even see him. Well, he kind of blends into the crowd. You know? I know. He wears, uh, you know, uh, slacks and a nice, uh, nice collared shirt. Not really sure why he's uh, out here. Is he I, going to the concession stand? Who knows? I don't know. He is not scheduled to wrestle here tonight. I don't know why he's here. Maybe he's still smarting from that beating Brian Castle gave him. He's looking for Brian Castle somewhere. I, I, I don't know. d is in a bad way though right now. Well, once Buck Lawless was able to go after those eyes, really just incapacitating D-Ray, and he's trying to fire back, trying to go into that midsection of Lawless, but you can just tell there's not a whole lot behind those punches, no. Norm. And Buck Lawless has slowed this match down to his pace. Well, yeah, that's D-Ray trying to fight back. To style Buck Lawless oh. Now that was a picture-perfect drop kick. Got all the elevation on that one. Goes for the cover. Can't hook a leg on that one, really just, you know, while uh, hoisting his body on top of Buck Lawless, but not able to uh, hook a leg. Only a one count, but D-Ray might be getting his head clear. Now look at that, another big drop kick, sized him up and Lawless goes down, goes for the cover. Still really think he needs to hook a leg on that one, but still seems to have a little bit more life in him right now. Lawless up to his feet, maybe a third drop kick, Norm. And look at that, boy, he connected with that. But Buck Lawless keeps getting up. And now he just drives that fist into the throat of Buck Lawless. D-Ray's going up again. D-Ray got the upper hand. Hopefully he don't go through the ceiling yeah, exactly. again. Exactly, he gets so much elevation when he's on the top rope. When he dry, it just drove that fist from the top rope into the forehead of Buck Lawless. Hooks the leg, but he's still not doing enough to put away Lawless. Kentucky Wildman still has some life left in him. Lawless gets back up and oh. goes into the eyes of D-Ray 3000. You know, it's bad enough it's two on one, but Buck Lawless goes to the eyes. That elbow right there was one of the few legal maneuvers I've seen Lawless do in this entire match. Must have been a fluke. Yeah, exactly, because now he's going back to a choke. Must be foggy, he didn't know what he was doing yeah. by yeah. doing something clean. Well, he quickly reverted back to his old ways. And there's D-Ray, once again, trying to fight from his knees, which is very difficult to do to fight from the bottom, but he's giving it his best shot. Couple Come on, of punches into the middle. Just fighting and doing what he can and doing what he can, but... And now, wait a minute. It looked like Lawless had something. Look at that. I think Lawless has brass knuckles. That sure looks like it. It's something wrapped in tape. You can see it. Now, did Pastor Payne give that to him? He's hiding it from the ref. He brings D-Ray 3000 up to his feet. Maybe another punch with those brass knuckles. And he blocks it. D-Ray blocks oh. the punch. Boot into the midsection. Oh, those knuckles are on the ground. Oh, oh, big left hand. Two shots with the brass knuckles. 
throws the knuckles off to the side. Scoop slam, oh wow. my gosh! I didn't think he could do it, but at least he got enough off. Yeah, but I think D-Ray hurt his back. That was not a smart thing to do. No. Oh my gosh, no. That's better than 300 pounds he's trying to turn over. Herniated disc. That yeah. is not D-Ray's game. His game is high flying, up tempo, not a power game. I think really just the motions got the best of him and he thought he could slam him. Now this is the third time we've seen D-Ray go to that top rope, connected with the first two. Third time he still hopes is the charm. Oh! Now, wait a minute, there's that sharp dressed man. It sure is, interfering in the match. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, oh come on. Threw him off the top rope. D-Ray 3000 just basically uh, hit throat first over that top rope, thanks to the sharp dressed man. Your winner of the fall match, And you've got to wonder, Norm, was there some sort of deal struck between Pastor Payne and the Sharp Dressed Man? I'm going to try and get a word with Pastor Payne. All right, you go ahead and do that. If I do it, emotions will get the better of me. Pastor Payne, right behind you. Let me get a word with you. Well, what is the sharp dressed man doing out here? Well, obviously, we know you're talking about because there's not one other person out here dressed sharp besides me. But you know what? We are the greatest wrestlers in WWA today. D Ray is a loser like all you other people here in Toledo. He's flat on his back and he's a loser and he's jobless just like every one of you. D-Ray, I've got to say, you have compiled one of the best one-loss records I have ever seen, but you're taking on a man who, uh, well, uh, I'm going to be, uh, I guess I really can't mince words here. He interfered in your last matchup here in the WWA, and I'm talking about the sharp-dressed man, Jason Harris. Well, you know, that's real funny you talk about the sharp-dressed man, Jason Harris. You know, a lot of people here in the WWA have tried to make a name on themselves against me, but you know something? Something that Jason Harris, the sharp-dressed man, is going to find out. See, D-Ray 3000 is the wrong one to try to test. And you know what? A lot of people have failed that test. So you know what, Jason Harris, sharp dressed man? Yeah, you may be dressed real good. April 11th, when you go against me, you're going to find out one thing, that you done mess with the wrong one. I'm really thinking after talking with D-Ray 3000 that Jason Harris may have uh, bitten off more than he can chew. We are going to see D-Ray 3000, the sharp-dressed man, Jason Harris. It is one-on-one, -on -one, Somerset Hall, Sunday, April 11th, WWA Superstar. Would you like to make some money for your organization or charitable event? Then bring in the superstars of WWA Wrestling. See Bobo Brazil Jr., Andy Shane, CIA, Brian Castle, and all the top WWA superstars in your hometown at your organization's event. Just go to WWASuperstarWrestling.com or call 419-205-5660. That's 419-205-5660. WWA Superstar Wrestling, raising money for your event in your hometown. You are not going to want to miss it. And Sharp Dressed Man, we've seen you actually cost D-Ray 3000 a handful of matches here in the WWA. i just not really sure what your, your reasoning is behind that. Here's my reason. With me being the Sharp Dressed Man and wanting me to make a name for myself, I go to the most beloved WWA superstar, D-Ray 3000. So I kind of figured, how am I going to make a name for myself? You go for the most beloved superstar. And after what I did to him, of costing the match with him with Buck Lawless, I'm glad I did it. I'm so glad I did it, I'm proud of it. So this Sunday, April 11th, me stepping in the ring with former TNA superstar D-Ray 3000, I'm gonna step out all over him like I do on a regular carpet. It is high class versus, well, he's not exactly low class, he's below that. He's just pure garbage. And when I'm done with him, I'm gonna go back to my penthouse suite at the MGM Grand Casino, and the only thing he's gonna do is go back home collecting food stamps. Well, all I have to say, uh, Sharp Dressed Man, is I, I hope D-Ray 3000 doesn't see this, but if he does, I think you're really in for a, a rude awakening. It is this